This one looks hard, but it's not. So let's get into a square canvas in your Procreate and turn on your drawing guide and edit drawing guide to make sure it's on the symmetry and radial. And now we're going to go to one of just a prismatic brush that I have. And you can use any brush that you want to do this. This just makes it way easier. And then you're going to go to liquify and pinch with the settings that you see there. And then just tapping up on one corner to pull them up a little. Turn the drawing guide off. Duplicate that layer. Rotate once and fit to screen. And now put a layer in between of those. Go to a black color and your soft brush or medium hard brush, whatever one is going to just be a soft line around it. I'm just going to draw this black line around that uh, top layer. And this is going to be the shadow. So you're going to Gaussian blur it in as to your liking. And then pinch them all together. And then make sure you're snapping is on and you've got it on uniform again make it smaller and put it center it and then tap that little blue node any of them and type in 1200 by 1200 per dimensions and then center it again duplicate that one and snap it to the top in the middle with the middle nodes and then put it on distort down here and take that blue node and pull it to the top corners and it'll snap into place and then duplicate the main one again and move it to the right and make sure it snaps on the middle nodes and then take the top two nodes and snap those to the corners. And then you can just duplicate that one and flip it and move it to the other side until it snaps into place. And then you can duplicate that top one and flip it and move it to the bottom until it snaps. And then you're going to pinch all those layers together and you're going to duplicate them and move them Make sure you're on uniform now again and move them to the corners like you're doing a seamless pattern. Pinch together, duplicate, and move it down. And now pinch together and we're going to do that one more time. And now I'm going to duplicate, pinch them together and then duplicate it about three times so they have a total of four. This, this makes it brighter so I'm going to pinch them all together and turn my background to black. Then you end up with this kind of stained glass looking thing that you can use for whatever you want.